Now we're going to work on page five, and this is pr practice with combining like terms. Okay? So the first thing we want to do is we always want to list our terms and use commas to separate them. We do this because then there's no confusion about whether we're adding or subtracting positive and negative. We know we're combining these. Combining means adding. So we're adding positive and negative terms. Okay, so now I want to group my like terms. So I'm going to group my x's and I'm going to group my constants. Now, negative 2x and a positive 2x zero each other out, so now I just need to combine 6x and a negative 3x. The positives are going to win that tug of war by 3. So I get 3x here, and now 4 and negative 5, the negatives are going to win by 1. So this becomes 3x minus 1. Okay, now number two. For number two, I'm going to list them negative 4x, 12y, negative 4y, 3x, negative 2, 7x, negative 5y, negative 7. Okay, so now my like terms are negative 4x, 3x, 7x, 12y, negative 4y, negative 5y. Notice I cross them out after I list them because when you have a long list like this, it's easy to miss one. So now 7x plus 3x is 10x. 10x minus 4x is 6x. Negative 4y and negative 5y is negative 9y plus a 12y would be 3y. Negative 2 plus a negative 7 is negative 9, so I get 6x plus 3y minus 9. Okay, so now we're going to do the next one. So, Still page five. And we have x, negative y, negative 2x, 5y, negative x, 2, negative 7x. So now I'm going to group my like terms. I have an x, a negative 2x, a negative x, and a negative 7x. We cross out this, this, this and this. An x and a negative x cancel each other out and I'm left with a negative 9x. Then I have negative y and a 5y. That becomes a positive 4y because this is negative 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. And then I'm left with just a 2. So I have negative 9x plus 4y plus 2. Okay, and now let's jump down to, what's a good one? Okay, let's jump down to number five. And number five is 3x squared comma negative 3x comma 3 comma negative 2x squared comma, negative 5x, comma, and 6. So I have 3x squared, negative 2x squared. I have negative 3x, comma, negative 5x. And I have 3 and a 6. So this equals x squared. This is negative 8x. This is 9. So I get x squared minus 8x plus 9. Okay? So, that should be enough to help you with all of page five.